to YouTuber needs help from Nicholas Light. This is not going to be a fun reaction. I peeped at it a little bit. He's basically going to talk about copyright strikes that I Shinobi is facing right now. And me, I just won a copyright strike counter notification. So this this kind of stuff, anime reaction channels dealing with copyright stuff, it is something that everybody is aware of, but it's just part of the game. It's a really shitty thing, but it's a topic that I'm very passionate about. And I think Nicholas Light's about to use his platform to kind of speak on his behalf. Let's see. This channel needs our help. I'm gonna yeah. use my platform to speak about this because not only am I going to be on the side of the creators that actually make passionate content, of course. but I'm also going to be against this corrupt piece of shit website we call YouTube. I and that's the thing, right? YouTube, it's... It, is it YouTube's fault? It definitely is YouTube's shitty copyright system where it's basically shoot first until... It, like, it, 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 it isn't innocent until proven guilty. YouTube's system is such that if the people... Even, people can even fake copyright strikes. Although if you do that shit, you better be ready for the legal recourses that's coming after. But basically, people can just shoot you and you'll be able to fucking, you will just get a copyright strike and then you counter it. YouTube has a shoot first rule. It's like they don't do their due diligence and it's the, the shitty system. Now people then abuse that system, but I agree, it's, some, it's a load of fucking bullshit. Guilty until proven otherwise. Yes, basically. I talked about it on stream and that's what you're about to see. Yep. Enjoy. Urgently need help if anyone has it. Received three copyright strikes on YouTube a few days ago. And I believe Real Jack the Bus, I think this is I Shinobi on YouTube. At least I'm assuming oh. it's. On random three plus year old Naruto videos. Keyword, Naruto videos. This is not a coincidence. This is Shueya product. Naruto, One Piece, Bleach, Boruto. I remember a couple months ago, even like um like I I think Awake Productions and um, there were some other uh, anime big anime reaction channels that got copyright striked all at the same time. Dragon Ball, yeah, stuff like that. They all got targeted out of fucking nowhere. Old content out of fucking nowhere. It's like what is going on? Submitted counterclaims, but they are all just being rejected by YouTube. That is really fucked. Submitted counterclaims. So again, I told you guys about how I got counter uh, copyright strikes for my crims the Ragna Crimson reactions, right? At that point, what you can do is wait 30 days for, sorry, 90 days, I think, for the copyright strike to go away. But the problem is that he got three strikes back to back to back. If you get three on YouTube, you're done. It's literally, you have like two weeks or a week left to send your counter appeals. And if they don't get processed, your channel is fucking done. And like, he submitted the counterclaims, but they're all just being rejected by YouTube. Now, this part is going to be like assumptions. We don't really know how it's uh, how he formulated these counterclaims because when you're sending a counterclaim, when you get copyright strike, basically you have to write like a written portion, like a paragraph to basically say, look, my content, while it is referring to, you know, this Naruto right now, I made it transformative and it abides by fair use. By making it, you know, you're using like only as much as necessary. You're not showing the full episode. It is visually altered. It is audio, audio, like audio is altered as well. And you're adding your own reaction and commentary. And by making it transformative, it is then allowed on YouTube in part of fair use. And if you formulate your argument around that, then they'll actually process the counter notification. And that's how I was able to win my counter uh, notification strike um, like, um, uh, like a couple weeks ago. And this happened to me last year too with um, Akiba Mate. But here right now, if they're all getting rejected, it's either A, Jack didn't write it carefully enough, which I doubt, like, I, like this guy's a bigger channel. These guys are like professionals, right? They know what they're doing. There's no fucking shot that they would have written a bad counter strike. So then the conspiracy theory is, this is targeted. YouTube is just saying, no, we don't give a fuck. We're gonna make an example of your channel right now, which is, which that's like a terrible precedence to basically every reaction channel, right? If that is the case, that is an extremely corrupt shit. And not forwarded to the company that struck me. Four random ones got forwarded out of 11. That's so fucked. it makes absolutely no sense why they can't all be. Looking for absolutely any human contact at YouTube that can look into why not all are being accepted. I will lose my channel and years of work if these are not forwarded. This is so fucked because, okay. Now, some people are just natural haters of reactors. They're gonna say, ha, huh, get a fucking real job, dude. That is such a dumb brain dead take. First of all, 
I think being a YouTuber is a full-time job. You can say that it's not a real job because it's not some kind of blue collar or, you know, white collar work. Like I have a day job. I'm a fucking salary man. I'm a software engineer. I have a day job and I do YouTube as a hobby. If my shit got striked and my shit got deleted, at least I have something to, back, to fall back to. These dudes are doing it full time. It's their entire livelihoods. Imagine doing this shit for years, right? You made a, you've made a livelihood out of it. You know, you have family, you have employees that you have maybe have editors and stuff that you're, you know, you're, you're hiring, right? And you need to pay these bills and you need to make sure everything is, you know, going well. But if YouTube just takes that shit away immediately, like, do you have no empathy for the person? Like, that's their entire livelihood just fucking gone. Just like that. Because of some bullshit copyright laws that are so draconic and old. But I'm sure Nick is going to talk about that later. First of all, yeah, no humans work at YouTube. I'm pretty convinced of that. YouTube... We'll take mm. this guy's channel, mm -hmm. three year old fucking videos reacting yep. to Naruto, and try to remove his channel. But then you have some fucking bitch like Sniper Wolf. He's right. He's fucking right. Not even just talking about her lack of reactions on fucking TikToks, which is fucking amazing. It's because it's just a bunch of, bunch of fucking horny, you know, fucking... It's just horny boys watching Big Booba Girl watch the favorite TikTok. There's no reaction based on it. He's more talking about the doxing incident, right? That, that makes a lot more sense. Literally doxing YouTubers, yeah. going to their houses, showing their address to her millions of simps that fucking jerk off because. I mean, I didn't have to say, but. Not wrong. She blinks their way. They'll defend her. Literally stealing content, doing nothing. And this is where it gets different because now is she stealing content? Yeah, at the end of the day, she's just fucking pulling down a bunch of TikToks she got compiled and she just watches it and she uploads it onto YouTube. But here's the thing. Based on the law, like, she's not reacting to anime. Anime has... You can't treat anime and watching TikTok the same thing on YouTube when you're making reactions. Anime is backed by all these bullshit copyright laws that are so old and out of date. And it is it's just reinforced by, you know, Japanese companies like that. TikToks, like, there's no company entity going after it and sniper wolf obviously millions of subscribers right every video she makes millions of views it brings youtube a lot of money so obviously they're going to give you know sniper wolf a much more lenient way out like i'm not saying this is right i'm just i'm not i'm not justifying it i'm explaining why sniper wolf gets away with this shit while you know anime reaction channels like shinobi is gonna get fucked right it's 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 bullshit it is corrupt promoting her and they'll give her a slap on the wrist yeah for what a day a week not even. But then a guy like this that edits his videos, yep. puts love into his videos, yep. reacts to Naruto. Transformative three content. Three years ago, he's being attacked. He's being removed from fucking YouTube. Are you This isn't even the first case. And the most weird thing is these are three plus year old Naruto videos. Like, why now? What triggered someone to go after this guy specifically for three plus year old Naruto videos? Did someone just straight up just type Naruto on the YouTube search engine, saw three plus year old videos because his videos were popular back then, and decided, you know what, this guy, we're going to co copyright strike him just to fill some kind of quota in my job as being a fucking YouTube, you know, copyright striker for this fucking company. I don't know what is going on, but something is very suspicious. Is this a target attack or not? Because there's another guy, I think Totally Mark, right? There's a guy named like Totally, Mo Total totally Mark, right? One Piece or something. Do you, do you remember this guy? Totally not Mark, right? This guy, copyright strike. Do you guys remember this shit? All his, and he's not even doing anime reaction. But Toei Animation fucking just striked all his One Piece shit. He's not even making anime reactions. He's using just clips here and there, just frames, just to make, you know, anime video essay style content. All his shit was striked. That was some big bullshit going on. It took a lot of big creators, huge creators to talk on his behalf because, you know, the abuse of copyright is just such, such a bad precedent for everybody on YouTube. So they banded together and Totally Not Mark actually won the case. Um, how did they win? I think it was something about region locking his content to the Japanese audience because if that's the case, then Toei is like fine with it. I don't really know. Serious. Fuck this website, man. This website sucks ass. It sucks. It's not fair, man. It's not fair. His Naruto videos from three years ago are being removed. Let, 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 let's look it up. Let's, let's look some up. Your Naruto reaction. All over. Everybody. Now, this doesn't mean 
that other people should get copyright striked, right? Like, for example, when my Ragna Crimson reaction got copyright striked, but other people's Ragna Crimson reaction, for example, look at this shit, right? If I do this Ragna Crimson in a reaction, right? There's going to be a bunch of people. But you don't think like, oh, just because I got striked, these motherfuckers are getting away with it. I hope you guys get striked. No, that's not really the mentality that I want, I want to have. I don't think Nicholas Light is like saying like these people get striked too. He's just saying, why did Aishinobi get specifically targeted? Even though there's everybody fucking making Naruto reactions. Very recent ones too. He's reacting to Naruto, Fact City, Rice and Ginger, Barris T anime reactions. I mean, Nicholas Light is also making anime reactions, Naruto reactions too, right? So it's like, why did Shinobi specifically get targeted? Nicholas Light TV, that fuckhead. Fact City, uh, mashups, Solo Reju, RTTV, All right. um, your boy Roshi. Damn, I should have made a fucking Naruto reaction recently, bro. He's just shouting out everybody right now. <laughs> if I made a Naruto reaction and got up here, he would have shouted my channel. <laughs> We're all reacting to Naruto. Yeah. Why yeah. is one person being targeted? Exactly. Why? Why Shinobi? Why? Why are single creators being targeted? Fuck this company, bro. And fuck the people that copyrighted him, too. It's so unfair, man. It's so yeah. unfair. You have actual criminals on this fucking website being protected. You have Sniper Wolf being protected. And again, the reason she's being protected is because she brings in so much more money for YouTube than anyone else. And on top of that, it's, it, it, it's pretty much it. Life is pay to win, bro. It's not fair. People are going to get treated differently based on what kind of value they bring to you, right? And YouTube, they don't know Aishinobi, but they definitely know who Sniper Wolf is, right? So it's... Just how it fucking goes. EDP was being protect protected. Yeah, that's some fucked up shit. Why the fuck is he getting protected? People got demonetized and a video is taken down for talking about that fucking file. And now we actually have a criminal sniper wolf. No, let's protect it because she has big titties and an ass for all the children to jerk off to. But she He's not wrong, but it's those children that get so many views, right? And that just drives so much traffic to YouTube. Right, that's the whole point. He's fine. But we're going to remove a guy for reacting to Naruto. Get the fuck out of here, man. That's that bruz getting targeted too? Exactly. Really? It's like we're getting targeted. I know this is coming for me one day. One day, YouTube's gonna come for my ass. And I better have people on my back, bro. We're and this is it. I better have people on my back, bro. I, what we need right now more than ever is for anime reactions to have like, like almost like a fucking guild. We need like a big, like we need like a coalition of big creators who have big platforms that can like vouch and like Talk about who's getting copyright track, who's not. And by doing so, everyone as a whole can, you know, pursue this, like, anime reaction venture on YouTube without worrying, like, dude, if I put in all this time, will all my shit just be deleted one day? Like, and here's the thing, right? And I told you guys, look at this shit. Two years ago, right? When I first made my anime channel, two years ago, I started making anime reactions, not knowing what the fuck I was doing. But after a year, I grew to about 2,000 subscribers. And I was pretty happy with that. And at that point, when I think everything was going well, you know what fucking happened? I got copyright striked back to back. And at that point, I didn't realize that you could like send out a copyright counter strike because I'm fucking scared. I, I don't have the money to fucking appeal for this if, if people actually go to court. That's going to fucking ruin me, right? So I didn't know that you could do that. So I had to delete my channel, you know, I deleted my channel because if I get a third strike, then my channel's deleted. I'm banned from YouTube. You can't just make a completely new YouTube channel after that. You're, you're locked. You're locked out. You can probably buy a different channel under a different person's, like, you know, credentials. But with AdSense and everything, when you register for that, you have to actually provide your actual legal documentation. And when you're on the blacklist, you're done. So I deleted my channel after pouring sweat and tears every day, do my 9 to 5. Come home, 5 to 10, I just make anime reaction videos. Every day for a year, grew something, and then I had to kill my own creation. One of the most fucking depressing moments ever. So this topic, it's, it resonates me with me a lot. This copyright strike bullshit, and people will say, look, it's lazy content. It's just, you're just fucking watching anime. I'm not arguing with you. You're right, anime reactions is lazy content. All we do is fucking watch our favorite anime. We turn a webcam on, and we just get hyped. There's nothing more to it. Obviously, there is all the stuff around it. For example, picking the right show you want to watch with the community, you know, making guys thumbnails, editing, right? All that goes into work. But at the end of the day, it is lazy content. But lazy content doesn't mean 
that you should be like, oh, get a real fucking job, you know? I'm glad that you motherfuckers are, like, getting banned. Some people truly do feel like that. And it's because there is no class solidarity. A lot of people are jealous of content creators that are making a lot of money, living their dreams, doing something that they wish they themselves could do. And at a certain point, fans will turn on in against them, right? And there's a lot of haters like that that exist. It is such a small brain mindset. There needs to be some kind of, like, solidarity upon people so that everyone can get involved and try to help each other out. And what Nicholas is saying right now, when he gets, when he potentially gets claimed or striked and, he, he, and people better have his back, I agree. I think it'd be better if bigger creators are talking about this shit more transparently with the whole community so that we can be more protected. We're, we're going to go to that fucking building with torches. Fuck that, bro. My reaction to one. I, I don't know if we're going to actually go to YouTube headquarters with torches. Not like that, but you know, you know what he's saying. Peace. Let's watch a reaction. Looking at this list. Is this he list actually is edits his videos. Look at this. Today, mm. we are finally starting one of, if not the most. He puts music. He does zoom ins. Watch. Yeah. Let, 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 let's watch the reaction. Look, this is creative. Gosh. The way he edits, it's beautiful. I love this shit. Ain't I nobody. I think, I, 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 again, at the end of the day, the formula that a lot of anime reaction channels does is you, you'll see that my anime reactions and a lot of other people, they will pretty much have like an overlay, right? They'll have like the visual overlay and then it's going to be edited. So it's not showing the full thing. But this right here, it is actually showing the full panel. Is that a problem or not? I don't really know. Nobody has a fucking written rule of things that you can or can't do to fucking, you know, um... Like, there's no set of rules or guidelines. I'm just following the big popular channels and just basically following their structure on how they edit their videos, and I basically do the same, but he is showing the full scene here. Then again, it's not the full episode, but he is showing the full scene. Now, does that really matter? I have no clue. Come into this reaction to watch One Piece. They're coming for his reaction. But I agree. Another thing is, a lot of people think that anime reaction companies, like, they, some people say, oh, you deserve to get copyright striked. You actually deserve this shit because you're stealing people's work. You know, you're stealing the anime studio's work and you're just re-uploading it and you're monetizing it. That is very wrong. First of all, anime reactions. No one is watching One Piece for the first time through Aishinobi's channel right now or whoever this guy person is. No one is watching, you know, the latest Eminence in Shadow episode as their first experience, like their first time watching that episode through a reaction. No. People watch the episode by themselves. Then they come to reaction channels to find out their favorite moments and see how a content creator reacted to their favorite moments and share this moment, right? That's the entire point of reaction. And not only that, reactions also serve as an advertisement. In real life, in, in this modern day age, right? Advertising anime is done so nicely through these content creators. Anime reactors bring in a whole separate audience of people that might not even been aware that your anime was airing. By people covering these topics like this, it actually is free advertisement for these fucking anime studios. They're afraid that by YouTubers making anime reaction, that their sales of their DVDs and, their, and all that other shit will go down. That could not be so, that, that is so fucking wrong and so narrow-minded. But they have these draconic old laws. And Japanese corporate culture, they don't question the tradition. They don't question the status quo. They just do as they're told. The person that probably struck this guy doesn't even believe in the shit that he's working for. He's just been told up by a bunch of other different managers that they themselves don't even know why they're following these rules other than the fact that these fucking rules were made so long ago and they're abused. And on YouTube again, they'll just fucking strike you. You're just shot immediately. There's no defense. You're just shot and now you have fucking, you know, seven days before your, de your channel gets deleted. It's a load of fucking bullshit. But YouTube targets accounts like this. I could go on other reaction channels where it's just like this. Oh, 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 whoa. Oh, shit. Okay, I don't want to call out this reaction reaction channel and i hope he's not calling me up because if you've seen my reactions you know how much i talk i pride myself in talking so fucking much i think of all the fucking reactions on youtube i talk probably the most if not at least in that top 10 percent per percentile but there definitely are people that just like <laughs> oh my god no way oh shit there, there are definitely are channels like that right i'm not calling anyone but out but I don't do that. I don't do that shit. And they're fine. They're fine. What is YouTube like? Talentless fucking idiots. Then you have people like this that are passionate about what they're doing. And I, again, is this a targeted hit? I don't know. At the end of the day, I, I, YouTube doesn't know who Aishinobi is. 
I really don't think this is a targeted hit. The, the Counter-Strike notifications being um, not allowed, that is very suspicious. So at that, that point, it's like, are they trying to set like a precedence? Are they trying to make this guy an example? But at the end of the day, I think it might be just like a random fucking hit from some random company that decided, I need to fill my quota. I'm just going to target you right now. I don't really know. They're removed. Fuck that. Fuck this website, man. It's so wrong. And then you have people like that this that have to make a video about it. the cleanest version of me. But that's not why you're here. That's just to explain why. Wait. This guy does uh, Naruto reactions too, right? This is Heisutan, I think. Is he in trouble too? Um, I look like this. I needed to get this up ASAP because okay. Jack or Aishinobi or Aishinobi as Okay, he's just also talking about other bigger creators are talking about like the Aishinobi's case. Okay. Many of y'all um know him. So basically YouTube is trying to take Jack's channel down. So here's what happened. Uh Jack got a lot of copyright strikes on yeah. his reaction channel, which majority of YouTubers Why? Copyright strikes or notifications. Why? Why are you getting copyright strikes? You know how many know. reactions there are on YouTube? There's literally clips of animes posted to YouTube. This is true. I mean, literally, like, if you look at this, have you guys seen this one? Jujutsu Kaisen, um, 4K clips. People are straight up uploading, like, 10-minute clips of fights like this. I'm not calling this guy out specifically, but there are... I don't know how they're getting away with it. But they're uploading, like, Jujutsu Kaisen specifically because they're published by Toho. This gets manually claimed a lot. You'll see a lot of reaction channels. If there's anime published by Toho, like Freerun, Mahir Academia, Spike's Family, Jujutsu Kaisen, stuff like this, they constantly get taken down. If, I, I'm sure you guys have noticed if you, call, if you follow different anime reaction channels, but these ones don't. I don't know why. Maybe it's the nature of the 4K, and it kind of, like, bypasses the, um, the, the content ID copyright bot. Why aren't they getting demonetized? You could look up... G give me a battle. Give me a fight. Give me a fight. Give me a fight. Give me an anime fight. Oh, wait. Who the fuck is this? Just a dude? Again, I, I, I know Nicholas Light is very passionate about this, and he's basically saying, why is I should know be getting, you know, striked no one else? I don't support the notion that, like, other people should also get copyright strike. I think it's a little bullshit at the end of the day, but there has to be some kind of, like, there has to be some kind of, like, protection against, you know, bullshit like this, where people that make transformative content shouldn't get targeted, right? This whole f this this is pretty much just the entire fight. Well, it's a minute. It's at one minute fifty four seconds of it, right? It's not the entire anime episode. Therefore, the people that owns the content ID for that specific episode aren't gonna go after this guy because it's on only like a two minute clip. It's not twenty minutes. Is it transformative? Fuck no. It's just the fucking episode itself. But you know what I mean. Fucking episode. A minute, a, a, almost two minutes is uploaded. Why is his channel still here? Oh, Toxim? Oh, no, 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 no. This can't be the full fight. <laughs> I just feel like, I don't know. Again, I don't support this notion that other people can just get struck. You know, I think that, you know, just make it transformative and don't hit those guys. Oh, no, this has to be, um, uh, what's his name? This has to be um, Isayama's YouTube account, right? Because only he has the rights to this. There's no <laughs> Isayama is the Attack on Titan author, right? Wait, is, you're telling me this fucking guy has the rights to this? Hell no. He uploaded the whole fight! The whole fight is here! And this has been up for one year. It has almost a million views. Are you fucking serious? That's why I just think that this is like a random hit. I think that YouTube don't give a fuck. YouTube doesn't care. They don't have time to care about shit like this. Anime reactions are such a small speck in the bubble that is called YouTube. I think these are just random hits done by these Japanese companies to fill a quota. It just happens that Aishinobi was a target. I think... That is what's going on. But again, his counter notifications getting automatically uh, uh, rejected. That is very sus. This is what I mean. It's not fair. It's not fucking fair, bro. YouTube sucks dick. He actually spat there. I wonder where that spit went. He actually spat there. What? Man, that's what I just spit on. They spin a wheel to choose whom to attack. The spit is probably on his fucking clothes right now on his thigh. And he's like, oh shit, did I actually do that? Fuck, this is nasty. Attack? Yeah, I believe that. Anyways, man, justice for Jack. Shinobi, man. It's a bunch of bullshit. I'm very pissed off about this. And I don't understand. It's like YouTube, the only reason they have a platform is because it's of its creators, but they don't do anything for their creators. Especially, because that's the thing. The creators are the one that brings all the money into the platform. YouTube is just a video hosting service. Without the creators, there is no YouTube. But here's the thing. When you're dealing with copyright shit like this, the reason why they have such a broken fucking system that allows people to just copyright strike you is to basically save YouTube's ass. 
I don't know the specific technicalities of the copyright laws that make a system like this, but there are many videos that you can find out on why the copyright light system is like this on YouTube. It is intentional. It's to cover YouTube's ass first because if they were to get fucking sued for these legal claims, right? They're basically offloading all those legal responsibilities onto the creators because if this system was not in place and if people didn't... As broken as it is, it basically protects YouTube's ass first and foremost because at the end of the day, corporations are obviously going to look out for themselves before the creators, right? It makes sense why they're doing it, but it's still fucked up. They defend these corporations, these business suits, these fucking w women beaters they, they, and pedophiles. They support them, but they don't support the people that... Did I miss something? ...actually make passionate content on their fucking stream. I mean, on, on, their, cha on, their, on their website. They don't protect people like this. Passionate creators, man, that just react to anime and they get attacked. Yeah. I'm coming up. I'm telling you. One day, four years from now, my Attack on Titan reactions are going to be attacked. My no you never know. That probably could happen. I know, I know for a fact that this is the last copyright strike, that's not going to be my last time too. And this shit, you know, the way that I deleted my last channel, hopefully that doesn't happen. But, like... That is one of the most scary shit, pursuing anime reactions on YouTube. And it, at the end of the day, again, I know that this is extremely simple. You're just watching anime, you just uploaded, edited content onto YouTube. But, but still, people are doing this full time. People have made families off of it. They're making a living off of it. People have, you know, quit their day jobs to pursue this full time and they're doing well. But imagine, just in the back of your mind, at any time, all the success, all these things that's going right for you, it can just be taken away in an instant. Right? This is the most riskiest thing. And I know that I'm playing with fire. When I signed up for this game, I knew exactly that copyright strikes can happen, channels can get deleted, all that shit that you build up towards, it can just be fucking evaporated just like that. Right? I'm very aware of the situation. It fucking sucks. And that's just the reality of it. It, 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 it fucking sucks. Naruto reactions are going to be attacked. Oh, and I'm going to attack back. You bet your fucking asshole I'm and when we die, yep, coalition. We gotta ban the movement, dude. We gotta unite. Back back. You think I'm mad now? Imagine then. Imagine, imagine when that day comes. That day is fucking coming, bro. I could, I could sniff that shit. And I'm gonna cut the guy. We're bringing him down. <laughs> Even when he's just ranting like that, he's still hilarious. Came back as manually reviewed. Yeah, that's the bruh. So he got also. This is. Is this a strike? Hold up. Is this is this a strike or is this a claim? Hold up. Reviewed. This is a human found. No, this is limited ads. Okay, this this is limited ads. Basically, it's something in the video might have been too much for sponsors, so they're like, you know what, we're gonna put limited ads on you. And it said that mm. I put that there was, uh, you know, there was profanity. Inappropriate whatnot. language. Fuck, 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 fuck. Shit. Now this is gonna get limited ads. Shit. Fuck balls. Cut dick. Shit. <laughs> come on, bro. Bro, fuck come dick. on. Fuck. Was that too much, YouTube? I don't know what the rules are, because I swear a lot of my reactions to you. And most of them, they never get limited ads. On the streams, though, when I do swear a lot playing different games, I think it's the succession of the amount of swearing you do. Like, three F-bombs in a row is bad or something. I don't fucking know. Fuck you! I, and they said that stronger profanity, like the F-word... I curse every fucking 10 seconds! Me too. Who's in the seven seconds or moderate profanity, like shit in the thumbnail. You just appeal against it. You can manually appeal, but I think this is... A, but they, they human reviewed it, meaning they looked at the video and they're saying, nah, this is still gonna get limited ads. All right, it's not in the title. There's no curse where's, in the Where's thumbnail. the profanity? It's just him making his face. Yeah, typical so YouTube far, thumbnail. So far, so good. Normal, normal reaction channel. Mad fairy tale. Maybe because he said mad. YouTube doesn't like the mad. But they like child predators. <laughs> EDP. Maybe that's what I have to be. So I don't get banned. No, don't say that. Like, no, careful now. Careful. I have to like children. No, stop! All right, stop! let's see the first seven seconds. Also, it matters. What, what, apparently, um... This is an actual rule. In the first like eight seconds, the intro of the video, you cannot swear. If you swear, the likelihood of it getting limited ads is increased. Thank fellas on YouTube. Yo, we have five episodes left Three, of Fairy Tale. Four, Today we're gonna be watching five, one. six, seven. No swearing. No swearing. Nah, no, it passed the intro check. No. Ten, ten seconds. Are you fucking crazy?
Did you guys hear something? What, because he said fairy? They thought he was talking about gay people? No! How do you make that association? Fuck that! This is what I'm talking about, man. This is what I'm talking about. He didn't even curse! I was trying to hear in his words if maybe it sounded like a curse. It didn't even sound like no, a curse. Nothing sounded fairy. like it. Fairy! What, they think he meant fucker? What a bunch of bullshit, man. I thought he was going to say the other F word for Fuck a second. Fuck YouTube. I'm uploading this to YouTube. I'm defending a fellow reaction channel, man. And more channels have to talk about this shit. Yes, I agree. And my channel's pretty fucking small. It's not going to get much reach. But more people need to... Like, everybody needs to fucking band together. All the reaction channels with huge platforms need to band together and voice their fucking... You know, they need to voice their... Their voice, basically. And talk about how bullshit this is. And you need to fucking check this guy out right now. Or else his channel could get literally deleted. But guess what? People that have my subscribers, my amount of subscribers, they won't talk about it because they... This is true. Because... And here's the thing about solidarity is... If they talk about it, they could potentially be the next target, you know? People are kind of scared to talk about this shit because... They could... It could put a target on their back, you know? And that kind of mentality... It... Maybe is beneficial for the individual at that point, but... In the long run, I feel like the more people talk about this, the better it is overall. They have fucking egos until it happens to their channel. I don't think it's really about the ego. I think it's just more about them not wanting a target on their back because they're scared that if they talk about shit like this and if they bring like a controversial topic into the spotlight, will it reflect bad on them kind of deal, right? They themselves don't want their shit getting, you know, fucked up. So it's like, I could understand that. Until it happens to their channel. And now they, then they want everybody behind their back. How about they talk about it now? How about we all stick together, man? Yes, Fuck I agree. Fuck this ego bullshit. I agree. Justice for I Shinobi. Exactly, bro. This is going on the main channel. Straight up, there needs to be some kind of discourse, some kind of fucking group, some kind of group chat where it's just a coalition of big reaction channels that can like spread their platform and uh, spread their, their voice and talk about this bullshit copyright stuff. Anytime this shit happens, everybody bands together and lets them know what's going on. And I think that would be the most beneficial thing and actually would encourage more people to pursue this. I got to speak up for this shit. This is I pissing agree. me off. You can watch full fucking anime episodes on YouTube. Yeah. And yeah, pretty those much. Channels don't get attacked, but a guy that reacts to it, cuts, does zoom-ins, yeah, makes it entertaining and funny. He gets attacked. Double standards, man. You know why? You know why he? You know why they're not defending why? him? Why? Because he's not a child that they could touch and think about. Uh, Jesus Christ, Nick. Anyways, he is absolutely right about this. Other than that last part, maybe. But at, at the end of the day, was it a targeted hit? I don't really know. The most sus thing is that. You know, the counter strikes were being rejected immediately. This is extremely suspicious. Now, if we, the tinfoil theory is that it's a targeted hit and that's why they're automatically rejected. The other option is that the written response to why his content should be able to pass through the counter strike notification, it was not good enough. I doubt that's the case because these are professionals. Again, they're not going to fuck something simple as that. So who really knows? But at the end of the day, I hope that he's able to get this shit sorted. And I hope more bigger channels are able to talk about this issue. And we can band together because that, this is a fucking load of bullshit, man.